Hi guys, it's Hany from Hanielas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have a bonus video for you guys this week. I'm posting on Thursday because I teamed up with some of my friends and we prepared Thanksgiving dinner menu for you guys. Starting with tofu wrapped in grilled eggplant from Eat Now, Cry Later. Pumpkin gnocchi with gorgonzola sauce from Bonapapa. Roasted miso Brussels sprouts from Vegetorials. And here are the desserts. Mini salted caramel cheesecake from Simply Bakings. And I made apple cider cream pie. To get started, gather all your ingredients. I'm gonna be making butter oat crust. If you don't like to use oats, just omit the oats and use all-purpose flour instead. So I have your all-purpose flour, oats. I'm gonna be using a little bit of sugar, salt, cornstarch. Make sure you use chilled butter, I'm using unsalted chilled butter. I like to use ginger, either crystallized or candy ginger, chilled apple cider vinegar and also chilled milk. So first thing I'm gonna do is to add vinegar to milk, set it aside. Now we can process flour, oats, sugar, cornstarch and salt in a food processor. Just process it for about 30 to 45 seconds or so. You don't wanna make oat flour just uh, process it until you have little bits of oats there still visible and then you can add butter just pulse it for a couple times until it's roughly combined and now we can add our liquid you can see butter is still pretty big so that's a good thing and now for the, um, the liquid I'm adding milk that I combined with the vinegar and also don't forget to add crystallized ginger or candied ginger And you just want to pulse it until it's roughly combined and you can still see little bits of butter. So now you, all you have to do is basically gather this together, press it into a disc and you have to chill this for one hour. I also like to chill my rolling board or cutting board I'm using for rolling out the dough. Well, I like to chill it in the freezer for about 20 minutes until it's super cold and then we can roll out the dough. I'm using 9 inch pie dish so I just want to roll it out to the size of the dish. You can also check if it's big enough and then we can transfer this into the dish. It's still pretty cold, it's gonna slide off right in. With this dough, because you have little bits of oats there, you won't be able to do a really decorative edge. So if you don't like to use oats, just don't use the oats, use exactly the same amount of flour instead. Because if you try to do a decorative edge by with folding and or all those different techniques, it will start tearing up. All right, so now that you're happy with this, we have to chill this again for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna line it with parchment paper and then uh, we can put um, dry beans. If you have pie weights, you can also use those. I don't have pie weights. And then you have to bake this for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you can take it out, carefully remove the beans, and we are gonna continue baking this for additional 15 minutes. Make sure you cover the edges either with aluminum foil, foil or with a tool like I have here. Once baked, just let it be until you make the filling. For the filling, I'm gonna be using apple cider reduction that I cooked down from three cups of apple cider until I had about half cup of apple cider reduction. Then we're gonna use eggs, granulated sugar, cinnamon, a little bit of salt, and also sour cream. For the filling, I'm using three quarters of a cup of sugar and then uh, reserving quarter cup for the topping. And once your filling is smooth, you can put it into your prepared pie shell 
and make sure you cover the edges again to prevent burning and then you have to bake this for about 35-40 minutes until the edges are set and center is slightly jiggly and then you just have to let it cool completely and then we can prepare the topping for the topping I'm using heavy cream you can also use whipping cream granulated sugar granulated gelatin and cold water I'm using gelatin to stabilize the heavy cream I find this to be really useful especially when I want to make heavy cream whipped heavy cream day or two ahead so now you just have to let it bloom and then you can microwave the bloom gelatin for about three to five seconds make sure that you let it cool a little bit before you add it to heavy cream you want to add dissolved gelatin into heavy cream once the soft peaks are forming and then you can also add granulated sugar beat the heavy cream until you have stiff peaks formed and then you can use a small spatula and spread this on your cooled pie make sure that your pie is cool before you add the topping you can also dust some cinnamon on top or cocoa powder or sprinkle some chocolate chips on top that would be lovely too and now let's have a look inside here we go and this is what apple cider cream pie looks like I hope you like this recipe don't forget to check out all the other recipes from this Thanksgiving dinner collaboration thanks for watching and I hope to see you on Hanyala's next time